Hello YouTube, this is Gamer James, coming to you with more Darkest Dungeon. Now, rather than focusing on the gameplay uh, in this particular one, what I thought I'd give a look at is uh, what kind of universe this is. I mean, one of the things I always like to do is a little bit of theory crafting, a little bit of fan canon. Whenever there's a game like this with such a rich atmosphere and very little in the way of, you know, extrapolation. Now, obviously, we're dealing with something probably in the late... 1800s, early 1900s, I would say, simply because we do have firearms, we do have some psychological treatments, which, you know, puts things in a certain way. Now, as for what else it gives us, um, obviously the world's still in a fairly dismal state. I mean, obviously uh, there's monsters that actually exist. We still have crusaders, which means there's still a crusade going on, which doesn't extend it lend itself overly well to a fine and balanced universe. Oh, okay, so he can't even do level ones anymore. That's a problem. But yeah, so the kind of world we find ourselves in here is pretty, pretty grim. I mean, there's obviously a lot of problems, there's you know, people flock to this nightmarish place, probably in Eastern Europe, just for a chance at a, sh a shot at money, glory, all kinds of things. So, the greater good. Okay. Um, so, you know, that comes to what's fundamentally different between this world and the one we live in. Well, I'd say the main difference is something happened to validate faith. Something happened that proved to the world that, you know, magic exists. And, you know, it's not the traditional crucifix that is the symbol of faith in this. It's the, the light symbol, that, cir that white circle. Now, conversely, the darkness or stress symbol is the same thing it's a radiating circle of darkness so but the lack of obvious christian overtones or overly religious overtones means that there's some alternate faith now fire is obviously important they call it they the light quickly down there in the dark but perhaps we can slay them even faster so the question becomes what could be this fundamental change obviously that's hard to peg it on. But what I like to think, what I've thought about, is... You know, please understand, this is entirely a creation of my own... What-if mind. Well, clears old corpses. That's handy. Um, but what if... Masterfully I would say the event in question would be Joan of Arc. Now, that might seem a little odd to, you know, to look at it from a certain point of view, but Joan of Arc went to the pyre. They were going to burn her. She cried out, hey, my god, you know, I am your favorite, what's going on? Now, what if, what if, this is entirely a what if, what if God answered? What if the fire came down, the holy light, all that fun stuff? came down and said hey leave her alone now by doing that he might have opened the lord might have opened accidentally a portal of some kind to or you know by violating the sanctity of earth he opened the hole for other things to follow by choosing to love Joan of Arc and validating her life, he unfortunately opened the hole for things to follow him through. Like whatever the hell these things are. Obvious eldritch abominations kind of going on here. So the question would become... How would that change things? 
well, religious and holy wars would obviously be somewhat broken. difficult to have, offensive. considering that now we know that if you pray to the Lord or you pray to the light, you get results. So, that's kind of where I think it would be. The world unified behind a single faith, but obviously f faith would take a huge imprint up. But if God still was kind of nebulous in terms of what he wanted his followers to do, faith would see a massive upswing. But the downside of that would be that rationalization, free thinkers, and that kind of thing would be suppressed. Not completely overwhelmed because a lot of famous astronomers and scientists were in fact religious. However, without the kind of, you know, atheistic renaissance and that kind of thing, and, you know, other faiths that had a large amount of input on science and technology advancements like the Muslim world and Eastern mythologies, if only one faith was to turn to be dominant, the path is clear. There'd be a lot of turmoil. To follow it. Now, understand, this is entirely a product of my own fevered imagination. Ooh, that's a creepy symbol. So yeah, that's what I think. You know. Just an idea. Throwing it out there, trying to establish a, a back-end mythos. Now, obviously, by proving that there is a lord, misotheists or people that hate God or want to kill God would obviously now believe they have a valid target for their ranting and ravings. So perhaps that's led to stuff like this, like these cultists. Nice crit. So that's me. I like universe building. That's the kind of thing I like to do. Nice. Drums of Doom. Yeah, you gotta die. Counter the big damage. So yeah, if you like what I'm throwing down there, if you thought my theory has validity or some kind of... You think that's a good a good thing or not? Oh, come on. Let me know what you think. I always welcome any kind of debate or interest in what I'm throwing down. And like I said, that's what I like to do. You know, I see a universe like this rich in illustration and universe and character. And it makes me, you know, what's the theory behind that? What's this all about? He's going to take four, so illumination if you should finish him off. And that fills my torchlight, which is really nice. No stress heal. That does clear all corpses, that's nice. A slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. One thing I like about this universe is, you know, you really gotta wonder who's the good guys here. I mean, obviously, my people are a little more on the side of good than whatever the hell we're fighting, but none of these people came here for what seemed to be purely altruistic reasons. Good dodge. I mean, the Crusaders obviously came as, you know, to drive something out, but the Abomination, he didn't definitely show up just because, hey, this seems like a good place to spend my summer home. At least I assume not. I mean, they came here, you know, there's a noble house up for grabs. Ah. 
come on. It was a waste of a surprise round, seriously. Eight, ouch. Oh man, he's at death's door. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. And he's gonna get hit with that blight, and that blight's gonna trigger his death's door. More dust. More well, ashes. More disappointment. That's definitely the way things go. Damn, that's my first death. And he was a good guy too. Jeez. Promise of safety. Come on, people. He died because you all can't hit with a dam. That's four misses total between the two of you, you useless. I don't even know what you are. Idiots. He was a good plague doctor, too. At least Tilly's keeping her mind together. Yeah, that really ticks me off that he died. There you go. Tilly's got to stand up and do the damage. This expedition at least promises success. Of course it is. Free food now. Something to smile about. We gotta leave it behind. Uh, no. There we go. Yeah, thirty percent damage. Be nice when you, you know, actually hit things. Dodging all the traps. Which is a good thing. Okay, so coming here was a complete waste of time. Come on. At least we're only eating for three now. So yeah, that's my theory. A little bit of a fan, fan theory, I suppose. But I kind of like it. It means the, the world's kind of stabilized under a unified faith, but there'd still be a lot of chaos. You have unbelievers, cults, obviously if God exists, maybe more terrible things exist, like whatever piled up, you know, literally hundreds of skulls in this place. So there's still good people in the world. I mean, hopefully the the heir or whatever you want to call the character who represents me. Cove tattician. That's good. I don't have any benefits for the cove. Nothing wrong. A little bit of extra anti venom. Third trap in a row dodged. A little bit of luck occasionally, I guess. Kind of grunting, moaning in the background is creeping me out. Whoa, swine slasher. You guys are some 
terrible abominations. Look where it hurts. Grievous injury. Palpable fear. Okay, calm down there, Ancestor. Which health these things have? Not a lot. Oh, I guess it'll fall. Basically, the rest of it is just going to be a brawl. There's no real tactics left here. These things are just straight damage dealers. There you go. You hit Tilly, it either just crits or it doesn't do anything. Oh, come on. I don't know why I did a stun there. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Natural edge? Is that what that said? Natural eye. Oh, good. Well, that's good, I suppose. Range attack, considering that's pretty much what you do. In radiance, may we find victory. Indeed. Oh, good. Well, some normal humans, I suppose. Start cutting that guy down to size. That's half that guy's health. Ouch. Yeah, 50 50 shot of stunning. Part of this I like. Oh no. Well, that was not the time for ones. Well, unless he's the one hitting those ones, I guess. Oh, come on! Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Yeah, you need to keep your health up. Good job. Okay, Tilly, you better start with the big heels. That doesn't count. This is bad. Well, at least we all resisted whatever the hell that was. Precipitates a dizzying fall. Ten food. We're gonna camp here, actually. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Divine Light, purest grace be with us now. 
No kidding. Whoops. Ah, well. Any test, do not despair. Man, oh man, those little touching moments kind of shows the fact that these people are mostly, you know, they are doing this for the right reason. Or at least they have a little bit of. A little bit of camaraderie. They understand that they're all in this together. Which is good. I only hope the three of them can make it. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Oh, surprise them at least. Maybe we can actually do some damage right off the bat. You gotta start doing a little bit better here, buddy. That's a bit of puke for everybody. Man, that has a really that has a high crit a chance. Break. They resisted a disease. There you go, Conter. Tilly's really been keeping it together here. She's on Wii. Did he catch? Well, I'm not even gonna ask how you catch on Wii and have somebody throw up on you. It's pretty self-evident, I suppose. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. Any deeds that are the most important one. Nothing wrong, a little bit of heirlooms. Painting. Good. Wasn't planning on it there, Conter. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is Alright, this is gonna be the challenge, people. Crates. I'm okay with that. Oh, 24. Oh, cool. Concentration. You do what damage you can. That's a pretty bad one. Okay. Yes, okay. Now you're marked, so you need protection. That stress you ain't bad either. Tilly's way up there with the stress too. 
There you go, Tilly. Great job. Good job, Conter. Just gonna keep stressing you out, aren't they, buddy? There you go, put the crit where it needs to be. There, now you can't hide. Really hope this is the last room battle. Oh no! Masochistic. Makes sense for a leper, I Those suppose. Those who covet injury find it in no short supply. So he's gonna hurt himself? Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Hey, there we go. Well, it's unfortunate what we lost. But we Some succeeded. Should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. Would have been pretty much a little bit of everything if I hadn't thrown away those busts. Weapon Tinker. Nice. He has the Ague. That's a nasty one. And Rommel died. Damn. He was on he was my in my first the roster. And the pistol. A fitting end to my folly. And a curse upon us all. It's too bad. Too bad. Yeah. I'm not sure if flagellation is a good thing for a masochist, but we do what we must. Brent Will, you need a little bit of help. Peacock, you came out of that really solid, man. I'm happy with that. This missile you got is a cheat, which is fine. I don't care about that at all. Tilly, right. You're definitely not going to gamble. What's your base dodge? Five? That's pretty good, so Clumsy's really bad. Now normally... Now I was gonna do the Necromancer next, but... I wasn't here. Yeah, it sounds like something a religious person put down. Let's get some new people. Houndmaster and an herbalist. New people. Shoot, bandage, and pillage. The dancing steps of war. Valve. Wow, 
Well, there's a hound. He's a rear damage dealer. Hmm. And how about you, Veral? You were also a rear damage dealer. Clear stun, clear mark target. Nice. I don't like the fact that you have very similar names. So your name is going to be... Nick. For no reason. Now, for all, I had an item that only you could use. It's not that great, though. Oh, there we go. 33% heal skills. Do you even have any heal skills? Battlefield bandage. Well, I guess I should probably get you a heal skill. Alright, well, again... Thanks for watching my uh, Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. We've come a long way so far. Kind of feels like we're starting to make a little progress. People gaining some levels and the like. So yeah. Again, if you like my theory, let me know what you think. Elsewise, let me know why it sucks. I'm open to any and all open discussion, even if it's all the caustic ability of YouTube comments. Once again, this is Gamer James. Have a good night.